Hello friends, I am Neeraj. Welcome to the new episode of Full Stack Web Development using ReactJS and GoFiber framework. So this is what uh, we have worked so far. So we have listed our blog and we have already added that whenever user clicks on a post title. So we are displaying the full blog detail. And uh, I think now it's time to work on the functionality to create a blog post. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have a button over here labeled as add new so that when a user clicks on it, so a new blog data would be added into our database. And for the form handling, uh, I am going to use react form hook. So this is a very nice uh, library to, ha to handle all the form related stuffs like validation and error messages and just many things. So it just uh, speed up the our process. Okay, so let us dive into VS Code, and uh, I've all already created uh, just to save the time. So created a bare bone form. So let us also uh, add this form into the our. Uh, we will have a button over here. So we will let's start. I am going to have a H3 tag and uh, link tag starts and it should go to simply add and uh, let us also add some class so that it could look like a button so btn btn primary and uh, we will label it as a add new so let's save it now come back here so we are having this uh, add new and when user clicks on it so we are this we are having this form but actually there is this is uh, there is nothing happening so this is just a bare bone structure so we will need to uh, use this uh, react form hook to uh, to uh, do the uh, all sort of form uh, form handling so this is very very easy actually so first of all so we need to import this so we will copy this so i've already created this add.js component to have to hold all the this uh, form and form related stuffs so and from this so this uh, use for this is this use form hook is a custom made hook uh, by the react uh, uh, this library so it uh, we will instantiate it and it returns several uh, several functionalities so of this so at most uh, we will require this three so this register we require this to register a form element this it be required to handle how the form would be submitted and the, this form state is for handling the storing the all the errors okay so we will replace this input as a react form hook input okay so this is also very very easy so all we have to need we we need to do is so we will just simply just in order to save the time so we will simply copy this and in the register section so we will need to provide the name of the uh, of the our form field so for now so we will leave it default value is empty and uh, we can also provide the class name so we will come back to here to later on so when we will uh, implement the error handling and uh, we can also provide a placeholder so we will say please enter title okay and uh, this register so it takes on another uh, argument as an object so through where we can provide the error messages error error types error validation messages and other steps so first of all so we will mark it as a required and we will go as a json object so value would be true and secondly we can also provide the message as well uh, as a string so what error messages we want to display in case of a if it is uh, empty so we will say title is 
required right and uh, we can also have another set of uh, validation messages as well let's say we want this to be a minimum of three characters long so we will say minimum three and the message is we will say title we will say should be minimum three three characters okay so this is so this way so our uh, uh bare bone i mean the only the this is a full fledged uh input area so we have completed our uh, first uh, input area and we will implement the same thing for the post as well so very quickly i am simply just going to copy this and uh, we will replace this as well and uh, simply we don't need to be the with the minimum character because it can be we will accept it as an empty as, uh, not non empty but it can it can be just anything so we will say post content is required and the name of the field would be post because in the because in database we are uh, having this post uh, we have marked while we created our model so we have marked that as a post as a json so we will say please enter content and uh, this is a this is a submit button so our form is ready only thing is is uh, required is the validation so for the validation also so we will have uh, so this uh, uh, this errors this error object this is holding all the validation errors so we can very simply say errors dot title so if errors dot title is there so then we will uh simply say start a div and uh, here we will say again we will extract errors dot title dot message fine and uh, this error message also we can also have this error message here as well so that uh, this whole if there is any error so this whole uh, input area would be highlighted so we will start with the backtick and again we will my bad it would be like this errors dot title if there is any errors dot i mean if that title if the if the errors object is having a title element then we will simply add a error class over here and uh, also we will do the same thing for our post content as well and uh, instead of this title so it should be the post and here also we will do the same thing so we will simply replace it the title with the post like this and our form is ready uh, so it is but actually this is getting reloaded but because we need to handle it correctly so never mind so we will create a handler as well so right actually this form is uh, we need to provide a on submit handler and this on submit handler so we need to provide this handle submit and actually it needs to we need to uh, define the actual function as in callback so very quickly so we will create a function over here so we will say or let's say we will let's say call it save form so we will go with the arrow function and uh, we want this to run in the async mode so 
we will pass this save form function over here so now if we do the same thing so actually here uh, you might be saying that uh, this is uh, uh, this is blinking in the red so but uh, we are getting this error messages appear so actually i so let us let me also add this class css class here as well so we will say very quickly class name as an error and also copy this and uh, paste it here so this is our error messages are appearing in the red so now it's time to uh, actually handle the form so we can uh, we have already created our uh, the i mean the api i mean excel uh, api calls so just to save the time so very quickly so what i am going to do is that uh, i am simply going to copy this out so that we will save the time and we will adjust the stuffs as as per our requirement so here actually we have initiated a try block and uh, this time instead of this get so we will need to initiate the post method and also we will need to collect the data as well and uh, we simply very simply need to pass on this data and uh, we will very simply check so let us say console log and uh, let us cons let us uh, log the console and this uh, we will come back later or we can uh, we can do this so very quickly we can do this so we will simply need to create a state variable loading and this was set loading that was use state use state and that is initialized to true fine so this time so i think like uh, why there is any error let me quickly check if there is any error. It looks like there is some mismatch. Hmm. What errors are there? So let me also very quickly check. Return outside of main function. Looks like there is. Oh. Okay, so we will just we can also copy this also from here so that we will save the time. Fine, so we will have okay, we will need to import the spinner as well. React boot is trapped, right. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, we will need to make it uh, conditionally make it true whenever when uh, when the our form is getting uh, is ready to be submitted. Then only we will init we will make it true. And the moment. It gets submitted and processed, so we will make it again. We will set to false. So we will have this console our log open here. So new title and new post content, and we will save it. So looks like our, uh, our this post got created because we got the 
201 response with the id 17 and we can also check uh, over here so yes our uh, this new new uh, new title got created so yes this is this was 17 so this was this was created so this way our uh, function is working and uh, all we have to we can further uh, do the uh, uh, we can also very very quickly we can add a new record as well let's say we will make it uh, react blog creation test or make it title and uh, we will paste it here and creation post content and we will save it so we have got uh, 201 it was 17 and uh, 201 again we got that again 20 so 18 is also created so we can cross check here so yes so the the new blog also the also got created and uh, we can also redirect the user when the moment it got uh, created so we can uh, always redirect the user so there is no problem with that so in order to do that so basically we need to use the use navigation so very quickly we can also use that as well so first of all we will have a navigate so we will use a use use navigation hook and uh, if it is true then we will redirect the user To the our home page so that uh, where the user can uh, list the whole the, the complete blocks so okay not use navigation rather it should be use navigate so maybe so we, we, we don't require need the use navigation okay so second new item and we will save it so let me check what is the response code we are getting we will need to actually log it okay actually so we were it returns at not 200 rather it returns at 201 so we were we need to, to match with the 201 and not 200 so this time yes looks like we our new blog also got created and uh, this was having a id 21 and we can also need to i mean uh, uh, need to do some rework on this uh, css part because uh, this is uh, this is not coming properly so but i'll do that and i will commit in the in the github uh, after after fixing fixing it so don't worry about that so but the best part is that our functionality is working fine and uh, that's all for this session so if you have anything to ask so anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding